Hey guys, um, yes, uh, J, J Donahue 79 uh, sent me an article link uh, from TG Daily, uh, excuse me there. Uh, the title of this article is Study, Majority of Gamers Don't Buy Games. And it goes into this whole like percentage and all this statistic bullshit. Um, I'm not shocked. I'm pretty sure most people aren't shocked. I'm surprised, that, well, not really surprised that the game industry is shocked. Um, here, here's a key, 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 key piece of information they left out. The whole point of this article is to prove that the consumer base is not accepting the prices of these video games. Point blank. That's as simple as you can get. Um, you know, the, the thing is, is that those numbers would have been a tad bit better had the video game industry charged reasonable prices for their games when they come out. We have proven through Netflix that when a price goes up, consumers say, fuck you, bye bye, I'm leaving. When the video game industry is as blind as a bat saying, hey, you know, I think the prices are fine. I mean, we're giving you great value. You could shove that up your ass. Um, us, us consumers, us gamers, don't see true value in spending $60 per game. And this article proves that point. So, I don't know really if anyone's going to be surprised about this. I, I, I think the numbers are odd. I mean, they're saying that 44% of gamers actually buy games. I don't, I don't understand that number. And then they're saying 85% of the 44% buy used. That's telling you something. That the video game industry is batshit crazy, and they think that their games are worth sixty dollars. Us consumers say, "Fuck off! It's not worth sixty dollars." And I don't know what else can I say. I mean, you know, you have idiots who come to my videos and say, "Oh well, uh, I think it's worth sixty dollars." Yeah, maybe just you. I mean, the uh, studies here prove that the majority of gamers don't see sixty dollars as a true value for these games. And I think that's being fair. You know, you know, you can't call the gamers cheap. You know, we have hit a point where video games are overpriced. They've hit that point where, you know, why am I going to spend $120 for two games? That doesn't make sense to me. Now, I want to see actually the numbers of PC gamers. I mean, people claim that PC gamers are the, you know, the m number one pirated things. But here's the big difference. Okay, look at Sonic Generations, okay? Why is it $60 on the fucking PS3, but it's 30 bucks on the PC? So, it's half the price, and it offers double the frame rate and better graphics. And, you know, if you're going to say, oh, the controls are bad, I'm using it on a 360 controller. So, I get full, true 1080p uh, resolution. I get 60 frames a second, I get anti-aliasing, I get V-Sync, so I don't have the screen tearing, um, and I pay half the price. That, that's what a true value is. I'm, I'm glad to spend $30 on a PC game because I'm getting the best version. Um, you know, the console version has 30 frames a second, so it's shit. It's not true 1080p. Um, it, you know, it doesn't have anti-aliasing, so the, there's jaggies up the fucking wazoo. There's screen tearing. I mean, it was a blurry mess when I played the Sonic Generations demo on the PS3. I thought it looked like shit. Um, you know, and I found it hard to see the fucking stage because it was just so blurry. Play the PC version? It, it was a night and day difference. So... That's where I'm saying I want to see what it, what is the numbers for PC gaming because I think that you know PC gamers are the ones who are getting the best value who are getting the best deal right now because if you look at anything the PC version always costs less um, if you look at Steam Steam always has sales they have fucking Halloween sales where you're getting games that are normally sixty bucks on the Xbox 360 you're getting it for ten bucks sometimes even less so th there's really no point in being a console gamer if you have a gaming rig. If you have a PC that's capable of playing games, you're better off spending your money on PC games because they're significantly cheaper. You know, you're being a smart consumer and spending less money. That's exactly what we want. So now what I propose is I think that these developers should just stop bitching. 
just try it once. Their next big fucking release. Put the price at $40 and then have them complain that their sales suck. Because if it still doesn't sell at $40, either the game is shit or... I don't know. I mean, get, there's no other reason that gamers wouldn't buy a game if they were at $40 max. Um, you know, it, it's it's much easier to splurge $40 than $60. Yes, it's a $20 difference, but that $20 really says something. Um, you know, you know, and then on top of that, we have these fucking DLC. You know, look at it this way. You know, they wanted DLC to enhance gameplay and all this bullshit. Price your games at $40, then make your money back off the DLC. You know, but no, no, no. You, you want you want your cake and you want to eat it too. That that's what our video game industry has become. We want to sell you a game for sixty dollars, and then we want to charge you fifteen dollars for every fucking map pack, for uh, you know, the Call of Duty and and Battlefield. You know, so this is the thing. The industry is completely out of their fucking mind, and this proves it. This fucking proves it. So you know what? I'm not shocked, and I'm not. I'm not gonna say poor developers. I'm not gonna say poor publishers. They did it to themselves. It's not us. It's them. They have to figure this out. And I'm really surprised that an industry can't seem to figure this out. I mean, they're destined to fail if they can't figure out simple economics. Take care, guys. Look out for future content.